Hello guys, welcome back to another video. And today we're going to be doing a tips and tricks video on the Nashville. Now, the Nashville is the shotgun. The Nashville is kind of broken in this game. It's kind of is. So we're going to be uh, doing some tips and tricks on the national and um, so yeah I hope you have a good video enjoy yourself now I am level 12 but I have about 500 kills in this game. Now, I like Gears of War 3 better, but I'm just going to do this game. Um, divorces, private, team deathmatch. There, I'm going to do, you know, I'm going to do 60. And I'm going to show you. So, with that, I'm going to show you that. Being this, or having the national, is pretty OP in this game. It's probably one of the most OP g guns in the game. So we'll select that map. We'll be Coltrane, or Augustus. And I'm going to use the, the frag grenade. Okay. But I'm not going to use the lance, so I'm going to lose the national. Now I have a Onyx God um, skin for this. I have an Onyx God skin for this map or for this gun. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy the video. My goal is to go to the docks. To the far right, if I spawn the docks, I'll go to the courtyard. And if I go to, if I'm from the high bell, which I never spawn the high bell, I'll try to go to the falls. And you see, this little thing that's moving, that's on the gondola. I'll show you the gondola today, but the main part of this video is to do with tips and tricks, so we're gonna show you that. Okay. Now, it's a close range gun, sorry about that. And it doesn't have that much ammo. All you want to do is, you just want to go, kind of check every corner. And if you can, try to rush them, like this right here. See what I did right there? He fagged me. Oh, that guy fagged me. But what you have to do is, with this thing, you have to rush them. Right? So that's how you do this one. You have to rush them. I'm gonna throw a fag to see if there's anybody over there. Yeah, there is somebody over here. When you hear someone says like watch it or fag on aid, best thing you do right here is just charge them. Because you shouldn't really be scared of them if they have a different gun. Yeah, I can see if they have the double barrel shotgun. And right here, just wait. If he's not gonna come out, slowly follow him. Now he got me right though, but it's kind of broken. I'm gonna show you something else here. Now when you go into the corner like this, go for the corner and wait for the person to come by and then get him. So, so wait for every single time on a corner. Like they, don't, they may not see you, but you don't want to go out there with guns blazing and charge them. You just wait and wait and wait. I'm just going to wait for him to get a little closer. Nice. 
because he will get closer. Don't don't charge this dude. If he has a marshal, do not charge him because he will blow you to bits. Just kind of wait. Wait over here. Wait and don't charge. Now charge. Oh. Well, I was trying to go for that one area, but I guess that didn't really work. Something to do every single time is when you play this game at all, always do this. Always duck, or because you never know what an enemy is. There's no maps on this game, so you never know what an enemy is. So, in every single corner, act like there's an enemy right there. See, I'm gonna throw a grenade. I'm not really expecting to kill him, I just expect him to say something. Like, I'm not in the best situation right now, because right there is a dude. Uh, no, I'm not gonna charge him. I can get him right here. And once this happens, it's pretty bad. But the shotgun minuses more than you can regenerate. I didn't throw that good. See, that's not too smart, this dude. <coughs> Pretty sure it's, yeah. So, to switch weapons in this game, it's Y. Not like any other Gears game. It's Y, not the keypad. I thought it was kind of confusing, but I guess it's a little easier. And you can only have two guns. That's really odd. And also you can do a thing called wall bouncing, which... It's like this. Oh. And he punched me. So I'll show you wall bouncing. Wall bouncing. Um, I think I can do it right here. I do it right over here. I think. Now, it's that's not it. It has to be a small enough space. So over here will be perfect for wall bouncing. Like. It's not wall bouncing. Gosh dang it. See what I did right there? It's A, 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 A. So don't double hit A. If you double hit A, you jump over. You just hit A, 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 A. And you'll, you'll confuse the enemy. The enemy will just sometimes just stop and just figure out what just happened when you kill them. You will kill them. Yeah, I didn't. I thought he was an enemy. But something like this happens. You got him. Close range. And also, Lancer will a shotgun. Almost every time, shotgun will win at distance. Just almost every single time, shotgun will win at close range. Just because, one thing, they have to chase you. They have to, I think, I don't know. Maybe be a foot away from you, or maybe even be touching you. Shoot him. Get close. Oh. Now, it's kind of broken this game. The Nash was. Because you don't really know. Do you know what I mean? Because sometimes one shot will kill him, and sometimes 50. Shots will kill them. Not 50, but that's exaggeration. But sometimes a lot more shots will have to kill them. Just instead of that one. Okay. Now the punching is kind of OP in this game. But... 
Now, if you West Hole right now, got her. Also, you can jump. Oh, um, no. Let's see here. So, like this? I'm gonna die right now. If I don't rush him. Now, roadie one, or I can't say it right, roadie one, or just running, duck running, basically. Now, here's the high bell. But duck running is best. And always wash them because you're all. Because they'll not expect it, you know? Be like, oh, the poison was coming at me. Slowly. Nope. If you wash them, it'll be unexpected. Oh, here's the gondolas. I just missed it. Also, jump off these. You won't die, but if you have maybe almost a full gear, you will die from it. Okay. That, that's kind of hard to not die from that. And also, I would also do a Moxa tutorial. Just, um, next time I die, I'll get that gun. Because that's basically all about the shotgun. Just kind of duck. And always be careful with the shotgun. Every single time you can do this, or just hide, or whatever that is. See, Russell. And then you can duck. But see that gun right there? That's the next gun here. So let's just go to it. Here we go. Now, this gun, it's kind of. It's my favorite gun to get. This or the, or the uh, shotgun. This gun, close range and distance. Is distance is kind of your happy place, and close range is also your happy place. Like shooting guy from my throat, bang bang. But I don't have a guy. Someone's shooting at me. My ears. My heel. Now, if you go to the dock, if you go to the docks. What are you doing, though? Yeah, he's gonna come down. Never, never hold this, but I'm doing it because this dude. And there's no really trick to this. Just you, you can go camp in the library. You can camp pretty easy in the library. You actually can't pull it in the library. You have to open a book, which I'll show you in another video. Now, see that girl right there? I'm pretty sure that is actually a guy. Oh. Go. Now, this game's pretty good, but I think Guild War 3 is better, it's my opinion. Not no proven fact. But I think Gears War 3 is better. I just kind of, I just kind of think that, you know. No. See, so do that too. And with the national, and uh, this map, I memorize it, or I know well both spawns are. So I'll try to rush to each spawn. Pollux is probably maybe an enemy spawn. Um, I don't know where he's shooting at. Oh, he's that's where he's shooting at. At the dead me. That's a bright sun. Now 
And I usually want to do that, but it's the enemy spawn I hear. Or should be. So if you memorize all the spawns, just rush to each spawn. And I wouldn't be playing this online, but I think there's one person, regional usually, playing online. For some reason, I feel it's just, I feel it's just me playing this game. Maybe not campaign-wise, but multiplayer. And I will be, I will be playing horde mode in Guild Wars Three. Maybe today, or maybe tomorrow. I don't know. Maybe today. But horde mode is. Um, he died too. But horde mode is um, fun. Also very difficult. The highest, my highest round, I think, is like thirteen. I think. And doing a hold on checkout is just. You don't do it. Sometimes you can just. See a little bit of the body. And you just rush into the shot. Yeah. That marshal. Is. OP. I'm just saying. But, that's the tutorial for today, guys. The, uh, Moxa and this. So it's kind of hype on that. But that's the, tutorial, that's the tutorial today, guys. Um, if you like the video, please like and subscribe. And I'll see y'all in the next video.